And Jan Crawford, again, the first to tip us uh, to this uh, nomination, joins us now from outside the Supreme Court. And Jan, uh, again, we know now about uh, Judge Gorsuch's sterling academic credentials, certainly uh, the central casting qualities that we know are very important uh, to President Trump. But what's important to know about his judicial history? Well, I mean, Josh, when you talk to people who know him or have served with him, I mean, they they describing us a learned person, uh, you know, and he's kind of got this reflective, thoughtful personality, and you see that on the bench. That's made him a very effective a judge at building coalitions and getting along with his colleagues. He uh, is considered a very fine writer. He's written extensively on religious liberty, for example, and one of his cases, uh, he sided with religious employers who were opposed to the Obamacare contraceptive mandate. I mean, this is a a judge, as you said, with a sterling academic record and judicial record, but a clear conservative record. So you're going to see Democrats uh, try to argue that he's outside the mainstream, even though he's got that ferocious intellect. And they may make that argument about the mainstream, but even if he is confirmed, uh, it won't necessarily impact the balance of the court. That's exactly right, and I think that's why that's a really difficult argument for Democrats to make. Um, first of all, what does mainstream even mean? It seems to me the way they're defining it is, you know, moderate Democrat at this point, because no matter who President Trump nominated for the Supreme Court, it's very unlikely that it would move the balance to the right at all. I mean, remember, Scalia was the most conservative justice. So if Trump were, President Trump were to appoint someone who was less conservative than Scalia, he would be turning the court to the left. And obviously, he ran uh, in big part and got a lot of support for his promise to nominate conservative justices in the mold of Justice Scalia. And elections have consequences. Uh, I think Democrats are going to mount a fight. They're going to try to block this nominee. But Republicans are ready. And uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, the majority Majority leader has said that he will get this nominee confirmed. Now, beyond being uh, a, a judge in the Scalia mold and, and uh, whether or not uh, the balance of the court is in fact impacted, what we're also seeing uh, play out here, perhaps for the first time, at least in, in recent history, is the relationship between the nominee and a sitting justice on the Supreme Court. How does his relationship with Justice Kennedy impact everything? Well, of course, you know, he, when he clerked for Justice Kennedy, I mean, Kennedy is known as a moderate conservative, certainly uh, not the, the solid judicial conservative like Justice Scalia. And, and this is a, it would be the first time if, uh, you know, he is confirmed that a justice would be serving with a former law clerk. You saw the, ch the current Chief Justice John Roberts uh, nom be nominated, but he had worked for Chief Justice William Rehnquist, and Rehnquist passed away before Roberts got on the court. So this would be kind of a, 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 a historic, moment. But Josh, there's also this to think about. Justice Kennedy is widely expected to retire uh, this summer or next. So who knows what kind of court uh, Judge Gorsuch would join if he's confirmed. So then what is next here? And uh, I will add to that, what of the nuclear option? Well, Democrats already, and, and before this nominee was even announced, have said they were going to fight it. They've been saying that they're going to block it. They're going to define him as, quote, unquote, out of the mainstream, uh, as you said, uh, and try to paint him as some extremist radical. That's going to be difficult, I think, with Judge Gorsuch. He has a solid uh, conservative record, but he's got a, a, a very fine reputation as a, a good colleague, a reflective person. People like him uh, on both sides of the aisle, even people uh, who've known him a long time from law school and who don't share his political views. Uh, you know, and who, but you know, he went to law school with President Obama. Has said he's the kind of guy. I saw someone yesterday saying, you know, he's the kind of guy that uh, if you were in the dorm and in the laundromat, and and he uh, wanted to use the dryer and your clothes were dry, he'd fold them for you when he put his clothes in. Uh, and so, you know, he's going to be someone I think is going to be hard. You know, like uh, you know, when you strike a match, it's going to be hard for Democrats to get any sparks off him. But you can believe they are going to try. They're going to try to block this nominee, make the Republicans get those 60 votes. Uh, but Republicans are prepared uh, to, to pull the, quote, nuclear option and change the Senate rules, just like Democrats did for other uh, court nominees and cabinet-level appointments. Of course, there are Democrats facing re-election in red states who uh, may not require that at all. And, hey, if it doesn't work out... Uh for Judge Gorsuch, I've got some things to do for him around the house. So, uh, well, he's right, and also he can teach you how to future. ski. Apparently, he's a double diamond black skier. So, you know, he uh, he's, he's an outdoorsman who can, uh, you know, show you some tips 
on the great outdoors, Josh. Now he's just showing off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, head on this one from the first to the last, Jan Crawford. I'm going to let you get back to National Signing Day. Uh, we do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm very excited, by the way. Now, that's the big news. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. Roll Tide.